So hey yo guys, in this video we are going to discuss about biotechnologist as a profession in Australia. Let's start this video by talking about their roles and duties. The biotechnologists study the anatomy, physiology and characteristics of living organisms and isolated biological molecules and uses the knowledge gained to create and develop new or improve existing products, materials and processes to make our life better. One of the first thing we search about a profession is their pay scale so that we can get an idea whether we can buy a mansion with a swimming pool in the backyard, or we gotta live in the basement of the creepy old man. So as a biotechnologist in Australia, you can earn from $41,000, up to $92,000 per year. This is the base salary, and it does not include bonuses, or any other thing because it will just only complicate the numbers. Since we have talked about their salary now, it will be appropriate to talk about their average weekly wages now. So as a biotechnologist in Australia, you can earn up to $1,794 per week. Now let's talk about the data showing the educational qualification of the people employed as a biotechnologist in Australia. This data will be helpful for you to understand how much you should study, and how does just based on the education qualification, your chances of employment will be affected. 66.3% of the biotechnologists who are employed in Australia have done postgraduate studies, 29.9% of them have bachelor's degree, 2.1% of them have advanced diploma and rest about 1.7 of them have lower qualification than advanced diploma. From this data, we can interpret that bachelor's degree can be considered as a good starting point but having a postgraduate level educational qualification will open many more employment chances for you. Now let's move on and talk about the percentage of biotechnologists employed in different industries in Australia. 36.8% of the biotechnologists are employed in education and training sector, 35.6% in professional, scientific and technical services sector, 13.4% in healthcare and social assistance sector, 5.6% in manufacturing industry and 8.6% in other industries. Since we have talked about the industries in which biotechnologists are employed, now let's also see the data showing the percent of biotechnologists employed in different states. This data will be useful for you to understand which state in Australia could offer you better opportunities in comparison to others. In VIC, NSW and QLD majority of the biotechnologists are employed, which have 33.3%, 19.9% and 25.1% of biotechnologists employed respectively. The employment opportunities in SA and WA are almost similar for biotechnologists. Now let's talk about the gender distribution in this profession. About 52% of them are female, while rest 48% are male. The percentage of biotechnologists working full-time in this profession are 77% while others are working on part-time basis. On an average a biotechnologist who is employed full-time works about 43 hours every week. To be employed as a biotechnologist, following skills and knowledge is usually required by the employer. Skills such as active learning, technical writing, and critical thinking and knowledge about biology, chemistry, and mathematics are usually required. Some of the college or universities offering such programs are Griffith University, Queensland University of Technology, RMIT University and the University of Western Australia. If you want to become a biotechnologist in Australia, you should be ready to pay about $10,000 to $20,000 on an average every year if you have watched this video till here and have any doubts please comment down below and I would love to make a video on it or reply you. If you liked the video, do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time with more useful video bye bye.